second. Hi guys, welcome back to 31st part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous videos, I have already covered how you can control the DC motors using Arduino board and motor driver. In those videos, we have worked on L293D and L2910 motor drivers. I would recommend you guys to come across previous tutorials before starting this one. You will be able to find the link in the description box. L298N and L293D are basically low current drivers which you can only use for controlling low current DC motors. But for any of your application, you want to use high current DC motors like Johnson motors or e-bike motors, then definitely this video will be helpful for you. Today we'll be working on one of the high current DC motor driver which is BTS7960. Before jumping further, we'll first look at the current and voltage limits. So the input supply voltage ranges from 6 to 27 volts. So this is actually for the motor supply. And it can handle up to max 43 amps. So you can easily run the 24 volts e-bike motor. And input level is 3.3 to 5 volts. So this is the VCC required for the IC operation. And it supports PWM frequency input of 25 kilohertz. Our Arduino Uno board has 980 hertz of PWM output. In case if you are using some high-end microcontrollers with high PWM frequency output, then this feature will be helpful for smooth motor control. So the components required for this tutorial are an Arduino board, BTS7960 motor driver, a high current DC motor. In my case, I'm using this 24 volts, 14 amps e-bike motor, 24 volts power supply, and some jumper wires. Before moving on to the connections, I'll just explain the input pins on this driver. There are 8 pins and all the pin names are provided here towards the left. First two pins are VCC and ground. That is for the normal operation of the ICs. Next R and LIS. These two are current sensing output pins. In case if your motor consumes more current than the maximum current limit, these two pins can be used to detect. Moving further, we have right and left enable. Using these pins, you can activate or deactivate the forward and backward direction. At last, we have right and left PWM pins. These are used to control the speed of the DC motor in forward and backward direction. This is where you have to connect the motor and the battery supply. B plus B minus for the power supply. M plus and M minus for motor. And this is the heat sink. Moving on to the connections. First, I'll be connecting the motor terminals to M plus and M minus. I'll keep two wires connected for B plus and B minus, which I later connect to the power supply. VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5 volt and ground. REN and LEN goes to Arduino digital pin 2 and 3. RPWM and LPWM goes to Arduino Digital PWM pins 5 and 6. If you have any doubts in the connections, you can get the circuit link in the description box. Now we'll start with the coding part. We have used 4 digital pins, so in the declaration section we'll declare all of them. 
using int data type. First we have right and left enable pins connected to digital pins 2 and 3. Next right and left PWM pins to digital pins 5 and 6. So make sure you use the PWM pins for this. In setup function, we have to set the mode of all the pins to output using pin mode. Moving on to the loop, first we have to activate the forward and backward enables. In this tutorial, I'll be running the motor in both forward and backward direction. So using digital write functions, I'll set R and L enables to high. So setting these enables once is sufficient. You can easily control the RPM of the motors using the PWM pins. So to generate the PWM signal, we have to use the analog write function. First we'll rotate the motor in forward direction. So I'll be setting the PWM duty cycle on the right PWM. Initially we'll start with a maximum speed. So I have given 255 and the left PWM will be zero. If you want to turn the motor in the backward direction or opposite direction, you have to just interchange these values. The right PWM should be zero and you can change the duty cycle on the left PWM. So this will do it later. First we'll upload this code and see. As we can see the motor is rotating with its maximum speed. Not to change the speed, just reduce this duty cycle. I'll keep it 60. Uploading the same. Yeah, the motor has reduced the speed. Now we'll try to change the rotation direction. For that you have to just make the RPWM value to 0 and give the PWM duty cycle to LPWM. So we'll start with maximum speed 255. The motor is rotating in opposite direction. Similarly, we'll reduce the speed. Yeah, the speed has reduced. So this is how you can control any kind of high MDC motors using the BTS motor driver. In coming days, I'll be also making a tutorial on controlling high amp DC motors using the Flysky transmitter and the BTS motor driver along with the RPM control. Stay tuned for that tutorial and if you have any doubts, you can post it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in another interesting one.